Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Ninja Tech. In this video, we will see how to configure the DHCP server. So, uh, first the question arises: What is DHCP and uh, what is the work of DHCP server? So, DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It is a client-server protocol that automatically provides an internet protocol, I mean IP host with its IP address and other related configuration information such as the subnet mask and default gateway. So uh, why we use DHCP? So the answer to this question is that every device on a TCP IP based network must have a unique unicast IP address to access the network and its resources. Without DHCP IP addresses for new computers or computers that are moved from one subnet to another must be configured manually. IP addresses for computers that remove from the network must be manually reclaimed. So first we need to open the terminal. So we are in the terminal and now we uh, must need to be in the root directory. So now I am in the root directory. Now first we need to verify that uh, the DHCP is installed or not. For this purpose we will write rpm-q DHCP. So package DHCP is not installed. Now we will install the package yum install DHCP. So now it is asking me uh, we want to install this. Yes. So now the installation is completed. So the file is installed. Now we will check and verify. So yes, the uh, CentOS server is installed. Now write uh, this command and enter. Now we are in DHCP uh, directory. Now we will see the files in this directory. So yes, uh, the files related to DHCP server is already installed in this. Now we see the DHCPD.con file. For this write DHCPD.con. So cat is the command which is used to see the files content. Now we need to copy uh, file to the right location. For that purpose write cp. Now enter the command. Now we have to check the IP address, network mask and broadcast address of our CentOS PC. Allocate the range to DHCP server. For that purpose first we need to write if config. So now for this you can see that the IP address is 192.168.122.1. So now uh, we need to open the DHCP configuration file. Yes, now we have opened the right location. Now you have to enter the following instructions. First you need to write subnet which was 192.168.122 doing if config our net mask is 255 255 .0. Our subnet belongs to class C that's why net mask is for class C. Now we have to set the range for the IP addresses. So we have allocated the range to the DHCP server. Now write option broadcast. Now default DS time is 600 seconds and max least time. We are setting it. We are setting this least time randomly. Now we need to save the file. So file is saved. Now write system CTL start DHCP. So uh, there is semicolon which was missing. Now uh, save the file. Now again try. So now the error is resolved. Now we need to enable the DHCPD. So now the service service is enabled. Now we need to open the DHCPD file. and 
in the end we need to write interfaces is equal to eth0 now save the file and close the file now we need to set the firewall rules for DHCP server now enter now again enter reload so uh, it was the last step so now uh, DHCP server is configured and now it will uh, now it is able to allocate the uh, addresses automatically from the given range I hope you understand thank you so much for watching